Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com, and today I'm coming back to you again this year on Singles Day to show you how you can save a bunch of money on electric bicycle parts and accessories. For the uninitiated, Singles Day is the biggest shopping holiday every year in China. It's kind of like their Black Friday, but there are other cultural nuances as well. It's kind of like a Valentine's Day for single people as well. I don't totally understand the cultural significance of it, but I do know that it is a big shopping holiday and it is a great chance to save some money. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. For those of you that are familiar with shopping on Chinese direct order websites like um, Geek Buying or Gear Best or uh, my personal favorite, which is AliExpress, it's pretty standard at this point. You know, some people are a little weird about buying from China. They worry that, you know, they're gonna get ripped off or they don't know who the company is, but this is all pretty much standardized through these major vendor companies like AliExpress. Uh, I use AliExpress just because I found it to be the safest one. They hold your money in escrow while you're getting your parts, and then once you get your parts, you confirm you've received them, they're good, and then the vendor actually gets the money. And the few times I've ever had an issue, it's been easy to file a dispute, and I've usually gotten my money back or gotten like, you know, a 75% refund, if not everything. So uh, generally speaking, it's just been a really safe, really uh, effective way to buy things cheaply from China. And considering that this is Singles Day, now it's a great time to buy things even cheaper. Now there are a few things to know about Singles Day, uh, both generally speaking and this year. First of all, you do wanna make sure that you're getting an actual deal. There are a number of vendors who, as it uh, approaches Singles Day in the weeks leading up to the shopping holiday, will start to walk up the prices of their products. That way they can give bigger sales or sales on Singles Day. So you do want to uh, look at that if you've been following prices all along or just you know comparison shop to uh, what average prices are. Uh, the other thing to note is that this year particularly, uh, to be honest, I'm not seeing as good of deals as I saw in the last few years. Even last year, the deals weren't quite as good as I saw a few years before that. And this year, it's even uh, a little bit less, which is unfortunate, but there are still some good deals out there to be had. I don't know if it's related to uh, supply chain issues that the electric bicycle industry has been experiencing all year. Maybe it's just inflation that all these prices are a little bit higher than last year but I've searched around a good amount to try and find some deals that interest me and that I hope will interest you guys as well. So without further ado, I'm gonna head over to my computer and let's check out what I've found. All right, so one of the first things I always look for on Singles Day are electric bike conversion kits. Um, you can just come up here and just literally electric bicycle conversion kits right here in the search bar. Click the 1111 sale designator so you're gonna filter for just the sale items. And you can see there's just tons of stuff here. There are so many different types of kits. You've got mid drives, hub drives, front wheel, rear wheel, direct drive, geared hubs. I mean, you just have so many options. There are kits with batteries without. I will say that the prices don't seem quite as good this year in terms of the sales as they were last year. When I go and I look at different options here, for example, um, some of these are, are pretty decent. So. Uh, here we've got, I've selected a 48-volt, uh, 500 watt. This is a geared motor, so these are a little more expensive than your direct drive motors. And this is a kit that comes with everything you need except the battery. And so here we're looking at uh, $301 with free shipping to the U.S. So $300, and then make sure you check the coupons, because here you can uh, basically digitally clip this coupon, and you can get $8 off your first 150 bucks. So you drop this down to... Uh, around $293, which is pretty good, especially if you go and you compare this to like what's on Amazon right now. So here we've got something that's vaguely similar. Um, I've selected here the option without the battery, even though you see a battery here. Uh, so here we've got 340 something bucks plus 60 something bucks for shipping. This is a $400 kit. So, um, you know, you're saving about $100 there when you compare it to what local prices might be. For example, if you were in the US shopping on Amazon. Now, not all of the prices are going to be better than what you can find elsewhere. So if we come here and we look at, um, this is a thousand watt kit, uh, comes with everything you need except for the battery. And here we're at $347, free shipping. But if you look at Amazon, I mean, you can find kits for you know $240, uh, even lower if you go with a front wheel motor. So uh, some of these, not necessarily the best deals here. Moving on, another store I shop from all the time is Green Time. This is, for some reason, they're called the EV Fitting 
store, but all of their products are marketed as green time. Uh, I get a lot of controllers here for my DIY builds, but they really, they have everything. Um, just sort of every e-bike accessory you could want, uh, you know, throttles, um, horns, alarms, torque arms, uh, brake levers, DC-DC converters. I mean, they've really got just about everything if you go down this left column here. And uh, in terms of their sales, they don't have the best um, 1111 sales. We can flip this on to make sure we see only 1111 sales. But I found that uh, some of their stuff, we're talking about, you know, maybe a 5 to 10% discount. You know, here's a 800 or 1,000 watt multi-voltage uh, controller that is marked from uh, 34 and a half bucks down to a little less than 31 and a half. So, you know, we're looking at uh, approximately 10% sale there, but some of this isn't marked down that much. Here you can save less than a dollar on a dual uh, scooter controllers. So in general, this is a store I'd recommend checking out even not on singles day, but you can get some uh, slightly better prices here today. So next, let's look at batteries. Uh, you guys have probably seen I often recommend unit pack power. They're not the best batteries by any stretch of the imagination, but they're pretty good batteries for a pretty good price. Uh, and they don't actually have as many sales this year, but they do still have some interesting ones. So uh, I've pulled out a few options here among some of their for sale batteries. I'm not a huge fan of these bottle style batteries, though it is pretty amazing that we've gotten to the point with cell density that you can get 840 watt hours in one of these little things. Probably the more interesting batteries to me are these uh, hard case triangle batteries. So if we take a look at this, um, they've got this marked down from a normal 365 to 345. Now there is gonna be a $20 shipping price to the US, but you can also take $8 off uh, with this coupon here. So it's like a 350 something dollar battery. Uh, not bad at all. However, again, you're gonna wanna check your uh, local shopping options because in the US you can actually get unit pack power batteries on Amazon. And so if you check this out, you can get the battery for essentially the same price here uh, right on Amazon. I don't know if this is a lowered price for singles day. I'm guessing probably not. But um, it's, it's pretty impressive that you can actually already get these locally with fairly quick shipping. You know, we're looking at uh, a little over a week out or so. But Unit Pack Power also has other batteries. Uh, these are pretty nice. These, they're technically scooter batteries because they're in this shape that's designed to fit down in a scooter, uh, scooter's deck basically, but without any hard case because they get uh, enclosed in the scooter deck. So if you check this out, this is a 48 volt and 20 amp hour battery for just $309. Now again, you gotta add about 15 bucks for shipping here. So we're looking more at like 325 bucks, but that's pretty good for a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. This is almost a thousand watt hours. So for all sorts of DIY projects, this could be pretty useful. Not sure I recommend getting it wet like this. I mean, it technically is sealed here, but not that well, let's be honest. All right, moving on. Uh, another item I'm definitely going to pick up, probably a few of these this year, are these flexible solar panels. Uh, these things used to cost somewhere around 100 bucks a panel for a 100 watt flexible panel, uh, at least when buying direct from China like this. The prices have really come down. On a normal day, this would be 83, almost $84 but it's gonna be marked down to below $80 on singles day. So that's pretty impressive. And if you're in the US, it's actually free shipping if you choose from the United States because they stock these like a lot of AliExpress vendors do in the US now. Uh, if you're outside of the US, you can you know choose from, perhaps there's a more local uh, shipping option or you can get it straight from China and the price is gonna be a little higher with a little bit of a shipping charge. Uh, I'm going to get a few of these shipped to Israel where I live, and so I'm going to have to pay a bit of this shipping here. Uh, actually, what am I going to have to pay is probably even higher than that. So it looks like I'm going to be at about $28 to get one of these. Um, but I'm probably going to still pick up a couple of these because uh, these are just really nice panels to use. I don't really flex them that much. I mean, they're designed to flex up to like uh, 30 degrees or something. Like if you check this out here, you can see how it's bending. Uh, but for me, they're just really nice because they're hard to break. You know, there's not like a glass panel on them that's gonna shatter. So these are great for DIY projects. And I'm planning to do another um, solar powered electric bicycle build. So I might put one or two of these on the back of a rack 
and play around with that. So I'm definitely going to pick up a few of these for myself. And just for a little comparison shopping, um, you can definitely see here how the AliExpress price, even on a normal day, is much better than an Amazon price, and especially on Singles Day. I mean, for a 100 watt flexible panel, we're looking at $130 or so from Amazon compared to, what was that, $80 or $79 on AliExpress. So, uh, you know, if you can wait a few weeks for these kinds of things, it's really worth trying to uh, get one of these for cheaper from, from AliExpress. All right, so those are the different deals that I've personally found this year that interest me. Uh, but I recommend that you hop on whatever your favorite Chinese shopping website is, whether it's AliExpress or another one, and look around in the 1111 Singles Day Deals section because you're almost certainly gonna find some interesting things at some pretty good prices. Uh, before I go, I'll just give you a, a couple of tips that I use to try to ensure that I'm shopping as safely as possible. Uh, when it comes to AliExpress, there are a few sort of general rules that I use for choosing a vendor to purchase from, especially when I'm looking at a, uh, a new product or a product from a vendor I've never purchased from before. The first thing I do is I look for vendors that have been around for a few years. If they've only been on the platform for a year, I'm probably not going to buy from them. On AliExpress, it shows you how long each store has been there, and I generally look for stores that have been around for at least two or three years, and a lot of the stores I purchase from have been on the platform for five, six, seven, ten years. So uh, a store that has a long history is usually going to be a lot safer because they've got a uh, pretty good brand loyalty at this point. Next, I try to find products that have sold a number of quantity. Uh, it'll often tell you how many times this product has sold, especially on AliExpress. And if it's just one or two items that have been sold, it's probably either a new product or it's the first time that vendor is selling that product. And in both cases, I'm not super interested in it because again, there's not that sort of like long history of people that have purchased from them and that uh, I don't have to feel like I'm risking being the first one. In the same vein, I look for products that have a lot of reviews. Now, of course, reviews can be faked, and so this is not a perfect method, but in general, if uh, one vendor has a product that has you know, 20 or 30 reviews of people that seem like they actually received the product under it, and then the other product from another vendor has you know, one or two reviews or no reviews, of course, I'm gonna go with the one that seems to have a lot of happy people. Hopefully those are real reviews, um, and if anything, it, it kind of makes me feel better when I see a couple reviews out of a long list that are not positive, because that makes me feel more like they're real reviews, unless it's just the vendor you know, trying to be sneaky and adding a couple bad reviews to make it look genuine. But uh, those are sort of my, my major rules, is I look for stores that have been around for a while, that uh, have products that have sold a large number and have a lot of reviews. Using those three rules, I very rarely ever had an issue with AliExpress, and I've purchased, gosh, hundreds of things at this point. Um, probably shouldn't tell my wife how many different e-bike parts and accessories and just other random things I have purchased on AliExpress. So uh, for me, I I've found it to you know, be a really safe platform and a great way to get a lot of these cheap parts. So I hope you guys found that uh, video interesting and helpful. If you guys are going to be shopping this uh, Singles Day holiday, then good luck. Go find some cool deals. And last but not least, it is time to announce the winner of my book giveaway from my last video. And the winning commenter is... Ketru. So congratulations. Just let me know which one of my books you'd like. Either DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or Electric Motorcycles, and let me know where to send your book. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you gotta do is put a comment down below. You can say anything you like, and hopefully you will be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. And for anyone who doesn't wanna wait that long to get one of my books, and who wants to help support my channel, all you have to do is find my books on Amazon. All right, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you here next time.